there with Divas. And it's Pierce, and it's Rice, and it's a small forward. And for Cleveland, Hill is out there with West, and it's Brandon, and it's the blank on. And it's the Cavaliers to start out. Both these teams' doors relying tonight on the execution in their half-court game. A little bit of a throwback, sort of an old-fashioned approach tonight. Don't worry, we're going to have plenty of highlights. It is the NBA. We know there are great <laughs> players on both sides of the ball camp, but how about this ability to execute under duress of a 24-7 shot clock? It's going to be really interesting to watch. Obviously, times have been quite tough lately, but you have to think back to Cleveland's first and only title in 2016. LeBron's second season back in the city, and boy, did he deliver on his promise. They get the rebound. Hill, no good. Well, he did everything right till he got to the rim. He needs to finish that. To the middle. Here's Rice, defended by West. Rice, no good. And that was an incredible year back in 2016. Of course, Draymond Green in that uh, series, suspended for Game 5. Uh, Doris changing the momentum. Amazing to think, Kevin, how quickly things can shift and change in the NBA. Credit the Cavaliers. They made the bigger shots, and they had the best player on the floor in LeBron James. That was a season to remember. Here's Brandon. The Cavaliers again can't hit. They are 0 for the game thus far. 0 of 4 here, still looking for their first mate. Here's both. Hill pulls it in. For Cleveland, they've gone 0 of 4, missing their first four field goals. Out to the right wing. Count that one. They needed that. Just one for five to start this ball game. For Charlotte, they've gone just 1 of 4 to get this game started. Here's Bowers. It's Pierce on the wing. Here's Divac. Oh, and he picks it off the glass. Wow. Yet another miss. Just one for five. Not exactly an ideal start. Here's Mills. They grab their own miss. Smooth. Guys, very good job getting himself in close enough that he could just tip it back in. Well said. Those kind of plays in the offensive glass can tell the story sometimes, can't they? Pass to Bogues. The dish to Mason. Unloads. Count it good. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. I think defensively, that is not the way you want to start. Giving up high percentage looks, that doesn't typically end well. Outside Hill. Six on the shot clock. Pierce covering. Taps in the tray. He has five. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. The pass to Divas. That one's not going to go. And Cleveland will come the other way. Basket counts. Hornets trail by five. Bogues with it. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Here's Mason. Here's Divac. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. Second chance points always hurt. Just not enough effort to block out. No doubt those extra possessions can really add up against you when you do not take care of the defensive glass. And the Charlotte franchise has been stuck in the middle for so long with Kemba Walker leaving this summer in free agency, Greg. Is it time for them to hit the reset button? A rebuild does seem in order. I'm not sure they have the stomach for it, but they need to tear it down to the studs and, and start over. Passes to Rice. Back to Bogues. 
The Hornets need to get a shot off here. Mason misses. The Cavaliers leading by four. Mills looking it over. Pass to Brandon. West against Pierce. West passes to Brandon. And the stuff by West. There it is, guys. One of those effort plays that makes a big difference in the game. And GA, it is definitely making a difference so far today. No doubt. On the scoreboard, in the body language of the players, you can tell which team is in complete command. And the layup's good off the board. He's got nine. Hornets trail by eight. so far in this one. Here's Rice over Mills. Pass to Bogues. He's looking for Divots and finds him. And it's a hit by West. Just doing the job on the back. Here's Hill. Tanked in off the glass. So Charlotte calls timeout. They're first. Doris, you've played, you've coached, you've broadcast, you've done it all in this business. Uh, how did you like to be coached when you were a player at the very top of your game? Yeah, I think one of my favorite things were coaches who challenged me. Those who would not allow me to accept the level I was currently at. Those who wanted to push me and extend and expand my game. Listen, every player wants to be respected. Every player wants to feel valued. But the great ones to me, the LeBron James, the Kevin Durant, they want to be coached hard. They want you to push them to the greatest possible level they're capable of. Great insight. Mills, that's a two-pointer. It's rebounded by Charlotte. Listen, if you're that wide open, you have to take the shot, even if it's not your favorite. The Cavaliers leading by 10. Here's Brandon gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. It's up a three. But they recover it. Hill uses the glass to finish the lane. And the Cavaliers lead by 12. And they've done the job on the offensive glass. to D box and it's off the back rim no good nothing seems to be going his way this quarter. well not at the offense and certainly he cannot buy a bucket right now here's Brandon the pass to Sur there on the triple. And on the glass so far, it hadn't even been close. Curry passes it to Rice. They need this one. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And in college, on his way to winning the national championship in Michigan, Rice set the March Madness scoring record. He was out of his mind in that tournament. Averaged over 30 points a game. Charlotte making a switch. Geiger's checked in. An efficient night from the line. This is a guy who puts in the work and it pays dividends. Over to the left wing. Cleveland moving it around. West down low. Defended by Geiger. And that one drops. They piled up eight second chance points. Right side curve. Shoots. A shot off that time. Cavaliers go the other way with it. Here's Brandon. The teardrop falls in. And the Cavaliers lead by 14. They've been excellent so far, coming in with a well-balanced attack. No doubt, Greg. On the offensive end, it feels like they're getting the shots they want, and defensively, they are connected and on a string. True on the 14-footer. Rice has got six. You can't just stop 
when there's a pick set up. Got to fight over it as a defender. And Greg, you know exactly what that takes. It takes energy, it takes activity, it takes intensity. Sure, no good. Hornets trail by 12. To the inside. Mike up and in on the way up. And they've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball in the paint. Tries it from 19. Kept alive. Good for the fifth time in five shots. He remains perfect. a three sinks the triple such a multi-talented threat on the offensive end and you love his confidence passes it to Sura floats one rebound by Rose and so it's Rose who brings the ball up for Charlotte they trail by nine points 11 left in the first quarter. Geiger passes to Rice. To the wing right side. Here's Rose. Whoops, there's the 24-7 shot clock violation. So they turn it over. The Cavaliers leading by nine. Antonio! Here's Sir. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. That one drops for him. You know, it's going to be tough to win when you give the other team second and third opportunities to score the ball. And it's good for two. There's 42 seconds left here in the first quarter. To the right side. A shot. No good. And it's the Hornets taking it the other way. to the wing. Shots good by Rice. Rice has got eight points. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Here's Sir. Here's Brandon. Oh, good with the triple. And so it's the Cleveland Cavaliers bringing the quarter to a close with a seven-point lead. And they've done a phenomenal job down low. So many of their points coming right at the rim. And for those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. And what do you guys think about the Cavaliers so far in this one? Just cashing in on second-chance opportunities. That's how they built this early lead. Yeah, the defense hasn't been there. They are getting hammered on second chance opportunities. Pass to Rice. Upside Rose. Five to shoot. And Charlotte again with the bucket. The Cavaliers lead by five. And a chance here presented by Gatorade to see who's on the floor. All fueled up and ready to go for the start of the second quarter. Setting the floor for the Hornets. Got Rose. He's out there with Geiger. And it's Curry in at the two spot. Count the basket. And they're passing the ball very crisply here. Cavaliers shooting at 48% from the floor. Looking good. Second quarter of basketball, about one minute played so far. And you know, you can't impact a shot that close any better than he did on that possession. Boy, whether he blocks it or simply alters it, the result is pretty much the same. And Charlotte again with the bucket. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Here's Sarah. And it's off from three-point range. Boy, he cannot get anything to fall, but the teammates, boy, have they delivered. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, Charlotte's had to wait a bit the last few years. Now, the city hosted the All-Star game last season. But for the Hornets, they've gone three seasons without a playoff appearance and 15 seasons without winning a playoff series. And that 
time, the franchise has had seven head coaches and a shifting front office. Buzz City is hoping that its wait for playoff relevance will end soon. Kevin? We all made it thank you. And they've repeatedly walked inside in the first half, guys, and, and it's paid off. The Cavaliers shooting their third free throw attempt of the game. And look back a season ago. They, they did a solid job at the line. About 79% of their free throws. The players have taken their game to another level. A lot of improvement they've done individually. Any surprises uh, that have caught your eye, Doris, over the years? Yeah, I would say probably the, maybe the greatest single individual lead I've ever seen is by the reigning most improved player, and that's Pascal Siakam. Couldn't get in the rotation consistently in the postseason and then became such an integral part of the NBA championship team. Walker, who is an all-star caliber player, all-NBA level guy, continues to stay in the lab and keep improving. So a ton of guys, DeMontis Sabonis, another young big who's been incredible. Uh, just great to see guys progress. Pulls it from the elbow. Hornets with the rebound. Devons has got seven rebounds in the game. Here's Curry. Plays it up and banks it in. Curry's got 11. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Here's Brandon. Lang, he's covered by Roy. Clock at four. And that one's good. Brandon. Brandon's got his second best. What an excellent post entry pass. Good things happen when you make that next look. And the pass to Rose. Here's Delp. And a rebound goes to the Cavaliers. They've led by as many as 14 points. Here's Brandon. Off target from outside. Well, it hasn't been the most efficient game for this guy, but their team is fortunate to still be out in front. Left side, Rose. To the paint. Here's Devots. It's good. This time, the assist from Rose. Devots has got the game tied up here for Charlotte. Well, easy money, right? I like the strategy. Go inside. Get a high percentage look. Here's Brandon. Pulls up on the elbow. Devonts the rebound. Devonts has got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Kicks it to Curry. He feeds it to Devox. Shoots. And Charlotte again with the bus. Man, have they been effective at getting the ball inside. Cavaliers have gone four of ten in the second quarter from the field. Here's the teardrop. Rose with the block. Not really his best quarter as far as scoring, but let's see if he can eventually get back on track. Really, uh, the right play defensively, if you can't block, force him to the line. The Hornets shooting their fourth and fifth shots at the foul line in the game. And when you look at their numbers from a season ago, 80% as a unit, that's something you'll be happy with. Mason, he checked in for Rose. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. Curry passes to Mason. Charlotte moving it around. And it's Devonts with the jam. Textbook. Nice pass. Great catch. Even better finish. Here's Sura. Pass to Hill. Pass to Sura. Cleveland needs to get a shot off here. And plenty of contact on the shot. So, two free throws coming up. That's a foul on Charlotte. And you think back to the bronze last year in Cleveland, one wonders how differently it may have turned out if Kyrie was there with it. Well, you think back, Greg. Isaiah Thomas was never healthy. He had been a recent all-star with another team. They were counting on his quickness and his scoring. But through it all, the Cavaliers reached the NBA Finals. Just another testament to the talent and the leadership that LeBron gives you. Now here's Pierce. Tight defense on him. Here's Devox. The kick out to Pierce. 
Hill against Royal. Over Hill. Pass to Bogues. Let's the three fly. Hills with the rebound. The Cavaliers trail by four. All sorts of time. Devonts the rebound. Devonts has got 12 rebounds here tonight. Big time effort. Inside. Mason against Hill. A pass to both. Here is Mason. From beyond the arc. Hills with the rebound. And now in transition is Mills. Here we go. Passes it to Surrey. He scores for only his third time tonight. Now three for ten. He climb out of the hole. And, and I like the fact that he really was unfazed by that scoreless first quarter. And now you can see him getting into a rhythm. Bogues the pass to defense. Down low. Mason against the rim with a two-handed slam. Wow. And Divac, a cunning passer, phenomenal at realizing when one of his guys has a clean look. Here's Sir Bogues defending. Back to Mills. Up and in, it's good. First basket of the game for him. One for four shooting. Well, deliver the pass where your teammate can do something with it. Nice. Pass to Roy. Mason. Pass to Royal. Another shot. Shot's good for Mason. Mason's got four points now in the quarter. I'll tell you, he's playing with much more discipline here in the second quarter. He is waiting for good opportunities and capitalizing. Here's Sura. Up again. Great positioning on the put -man. Oh, how about the death touch? right there guys he just guided that ball back up and in just a fingertip touch on the ball and here's Bowes he's been quiet so far still no points in the game Cavaliers making a switch here West has checked in on defense the Cavaliers Here's Chambers. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. It, it really turned it around here in the second quarter after shooting less than 40% from the field in the first. And those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. Well, credit him for going for it, not settling, saying, I'm going to attack. The Cavaliers trailing. Right wing. To the paint. They get it back. Hill. He goes up again. West misses. And the activity he shows around the rim is why he is such a respected defender. And what you love about his work defensively, the ability to challenge and change shots without fouling. They get it again. Feeds it to Hill. The shot's good on the assist by West. Hill's got it all tied up now for Cleveland. And they're just doomed if they keep letting them post up like that. You've got to deny the position to afford them no opportunity at making that entry pass into the post. Yes, that goes in. In the mid-range, rarely the hallmark of efficiency in today's NBA, but it is on point tonight. Here's Sura. He's got six. Outside Hill. Shot clock at five. Here's Mills. The shot is good. It's his second bucket in five tries. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Now, here's Bowe. Pass to Rice. Out to the right wing. Chambers picks to Rice. Right at the free throw line. And he hits the jump shot. Rice has got 10 points in the game. And the jump shot has been a dimension of this game where they've had a clear advantage. 40 seconds.
seconds left to play here in the half. And a kind roll that time off the rim as that one falls. 11 points in the game. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. You know, we see this all the time, Greg. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. Here's the floater. And that's two points on the way. And it's all about the release when you shoot the float. a tie game here in Cleveland. We'll see you back here after the break for third quarter basketball. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. We welcome. It was all about Cleveland as the game got going. Jumping on every opportunity to push the tempo. At one point, they had built a 14-point advantage. Things started to even out as the quarter progressed as their lead was cut to just one by the end of the first. The second quarter did not go as well for them as they saw their lead vanish and find themselves in a tie ballgame. What do you think, Shaq, about Cleveland? I like the way they rebounded. They devoted a lot of energy down low, fighting for each other on the board. And they helped keep this game tight. If they can continue to do that, it could easily be the factor that swings the game in their favor. Kenny, what was your takeaway on Charlotte? I love the motion on offense. The guys are moving. The ball is moving. It's a very nice approach to the game. And one the defense absolutely could not keep up with. That's all for now. Say goodbye to the folks. Thanks. Goodbye. this third quarter as we've seen so far neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet Charlotte shooting 53 percent from the floor they're locked in West is out there with Hill and it's Mills in at the three slot so that's who's on the floor for the Cavaliers he is too good a mid-range shooter to leave him that open here's Brandon Hill up top inside West can't hit. Charlotte in the lead. Out to the right wing. Charlotte moving the ball around. And the basket by Chambers. And we're seeing some great ball movement out of this group, guys. Here's Brandon. And he uses the glass on the lane. Brandon's got six. Terrific play call to give him a clean look at the rim. That's how you want to start the second half. Well, there is nothing better than catching a rhythm as early as possible. And boy, that's a terrific start right there. To the inside, Chambers. It's rebounded by Cleveland. West has got rebound number 13 with that last one. Hill controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Hill's got the game tied up here for Cleveland. Oh, what terrific hustle. He's got a nose for the rebound. Great. He's ferocious when the ball goes up. Devonts gets the bucket. Boy, everyone is getting to their spots and then capitalizing. Three for four in the quarter. Beautiful. Devonts comes with the double team. Passes it to Mills. Defended by Devonts. Just five to shoot. And it's blocked by Divox. They get it back. For Charlotte, they've gone three or four so far in the third quarter from the field. Pretty good start to the hand. The feed to Rice. He dishes it to Mason. To the middle. And it is flushed down with a nice jam. Oh, an aggressive move and fantastic finish. Mm -hmm. Trying to send a message with that slam, I think. Well, we're into the third quarter, just over two and a half minutes played. And that one's good Brandon. That's okay. You are playing with fire anytime you leave this guy open. And they just got burned. Over to the wing. Here's Rice. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Rice has got four points this quarter. 
And I need to see some more assertiveness out of these defenders. The Cavaliers trail by three. Here's Brandon. Nine points in the game so far. Just trying to free himself up. Hill, no good. The Hornets have gone five of six so far from the field in the second half. Tremendous efficiency. Divac kicks to Mason. Drills the three-pointer. Mason's got the lead up to six now for the Hornets. I like that decision right there. Don't try to force the shot inside. Kick it out. It's Hill, top the key. It's the teardrop. It's stolen by Divac. It's two on one. Mason dishes to Rice. Offensive rebound. Mason the pass to Chambers. The baseline J off the mark. And it's Mills with the ball for the Cavaliers. Pass to Brandon. And he makes good on the way. Brandon's got 11 points. How about the timing? Can be the difference between an assist and a turnover. Nice delivery. Dishes to D-Box. Pass to Mason. Chambers against Hill. Here's Chambers. That one goes. Count it. Chambers got six here in this quarter. And they're forcing the ball inside. And it's working like a charm. Mills finds Hill. Fades. Off the left rim and out. Listen, offensively, they're very comfortable with him taking that shot. It's a good look under very little pressure. He just can't convert. And Hill over to help. And there's the pass to Chambers. Ice. And he goes strong with the one-handed jam. Not the kind of aggressive defense they need to cut into the lead. Yeah, you have to protect the rim, Greg, a little better. They're just too slow to react. You can't afford to sleepwalk through possessions. What's going on out there? To the inside. That's it. He's 7 for 12 now in the game. Well, defensively, to me, you've got to do a better job communicating once the screen comes. Yes. To the wing right side. Chambers kicks to Rice. Chambers the pass to Rice. Here's Chambers. Takes the assist and lays it in. Picked out the pass nicely. Chambers got the lead. Back up to eight now for the Hornets. Here's Brandon. Nice pass. Right into the rack perfectly for the layup. Brandon's got 13 points. And you know what? He's shaken off the cold shooting performance from the first half. And the whistle blows on the backcourt. He went over and back. To the paint. That comes. He's put up 13 shots, and he's had eight of those go in. Hey, guys, the D has to show a little more fight on the interior than they did on that trip. Here's Geiger, defended by West. That's a two from Smith. Charlotte with a new shot clock. Geiger, easy jumper from very short distance. He's got six. The tenacity on the interior, just battling, bringing that effort and will for the second chance point. Inside. Good on that shot, and with that, the Hornet lead is cut down now to just four in the basket from Brandon. You have to have the vision to find the open man. Beautiful pass. Passes it to Mason. Releases from 15. Again, the Hornet score. Well, I absolutely love the way this guy has controlled the pace tonight. They've been able to play the style they want. A floater. It's deflected. Smith feeling it out a bit. Here's Geiger. Yes, and it's Smith with the assist that time. Geiger's got the lead up to eight now for the Hornets. For Cleveland, they've gone eight of 16 in the third quarter to put their second half shooting percentage right at 50%. That's Geiger with the rebound. Geiger's got four rebounds in this game. Boy, the wheels have definitely fallen off in this quarter. He cannot buy one. 
when you allow good scorers to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. Now, Greg, to me, this is simply stated has been a complete lack of defensive attention and focus all night long. Now, I'll tell you, it's been a struggle for him in this period, and they're struggling as a result. Here's Rice. He's got 16. They double him with West. For the balance, Cleveland takes possession. Boy, not sure. by 10. Here's Brandon. He's got 15. Here's Sura. It's rebounded by Charlotte. Chambers got four rebounds in this game. Now here is Smith. He's guarded closely. Pass to Geiger. And he drops in the layup off the glass. And now a 12-point Charlotte lead. Or it's such an honor to be on this with you, and, and you were the first female to become a full-time NBA analyst, uh, breaking new ground. You've accomplished so much in your life, personally, professionally. What would you tell young women who are graduating college, looking to get ahead in their career in the future? Well, first and foremost, I've been very lucky, Kevin. The game of basketball has been a part of my life since I was seven. It's been a driving force. I love it. I would just tell young women, and times are changing. Um, dream big. There's nothing that's impossible. And I'm so thankful to the NBA players and coaches who have just wrapped their arms around me from the time I entered uh, this business. So kudos to those players who are part of the change, no question. And hard work. I have seen you work. I have seen you prepare. No one prepares more. No one works for me. And he comes up with the deuce. Yeah, I thought the D might prevent him from getting a clean look, but that was the ideal time to break out the reverse. Smith outside. Royal the pass to Chambers. Six to shoot. Fades and shoots. Couldn't get it to drop. He's now made five of eight shots. to Brandon. And the lead is down inside single digits. Brandon's got 13 points here in the second half alone. There's a minute left in the third quarter of the game. Smith the pass to Geiger. The elbow shot is on the way. Offensive rebound. And count it. The shot is good. He'll go to the free throw line. Really nice job to convert the putback opportunity there. I mean, he stayed with that play from start to finish. That's something we say about him a lot. Charlotte shooting their sixth attempt at the charity stripe in the game. And this is a guy who just constantly works on his shooting stroke. Ricky Pierce, you see the ball come right off the fingertips and then with a consistent follow through. Sura, the best to Brandon. Offline with his three. Hornets leading by 11. Three seconds separate the shot clock and game. Outside Pierce. And the time Hornets out, time call out. time here. Adjustments are a part of the game, and the coach sees something he doesn't like here. Well, this is a chess match. Looking ahead a few moves and trying to execute toward that. Seconds left to play in the third. Lock at six. Down low. Shots good by Divac. Divac has got four points this quarter. Sometimes a player is born with a passer's mindset. He deals it with conviction. And so it's the Charlotte Hornets looking at a 13-point lead heading into the next quarter. What a night they've had in terms of their shooting. Everything dropping in for them. Back to the action. And let's take this opportunity now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. And he, he may not be known as a pass-first guy playing out of the two-guard spot, but he shows here that he can dole out an assist or two when he needs to. Well, having multiple playmakers on the floor makes you a much tougher team to defend. And one quarter to go in a game that, to this point, has not been an evenly fought contest. On the floor for Charlotte. Pierce is out there with Curry. And a 
it's Rose, then it's Devos, and it's Rice in at the small forward position. Devos, the kick out to Pierce. He's looking for Devots and finds him. Makes the most of the high percentage shots. Boy, not nearly tough enough inside on the defensive end. They made that all too easy for him. Here's the pass to Sura. Right wing. Here's Brandon. Three pointers off the mark. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. Curry passes to Rice. Back to Curry from 11 feet away. And Charlotte again with the bucket. Uh, unwilling to let up even for a moment. That's his killer instinct just fanning the flame. One thing I enjoy is watching players who don't pay attention to the score lock in on the moment and play the right way. Final quarter of play, about a minute and a half off the clock into it. Here's Rice. Good for his eighth field goal. He's attempted a dozen shots. They're consistently finding ways to get the ball inside and taking full advantage. Here's Brandon, guarded by Kerr. And that one's good. Brandon. Brandon's got 15 points in just the second half. You know, put a rough first half behind him. He's absolutely crushing it here in the second. Rose finds Curry. Here's Rice. To the inside. And there's Rose on the assist from Rice. Rice has got his fifth assist in this one. And the Cavaliers call time here. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. And the question they're going to have to answer to me is, is it a problem with the scheme or is it a problem with the matchups? And Cleveland making a change here. Yeah. We're in the fourth quarter here, just under yeah. two and a half minutes gone. Go help him, help him. Passes to Mills. Here's Brandon. Drains it from beyond the arc. Brandon's got 22 points. Fourth quarter keeps moving right along. Three minutes gone so far. Pass to Sura. And another three for Cleveland. Maybe he's not one of the elite sharpshooters, but even still, that's not a shot that he can afford to give. Curry looking it over. He kicks it to Rice. Curry trying to break free. And they'll keep possession. They retain possession. Shots good by Rice. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. The pass to Sura. Off target with his three. This guy just can't find his rhythm. And you look up at the scoreboard, they absolutely need his productivity. Nice pass in here by Charlotte. Right side Pierce. Back to Devons. Great pass to set up the lay-in. Devons has got four points this quarter. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. To the right side. Here's Brandon. Got it. Good job on the low post. Brandon's got 24. No doubt about it. He has done a ton to help his team, but he's going to have to do even more if they want to have a chance to get back in this one. They double team defense. Rose kicks to Pierce. Devon's trying to free himself. And it's the Hornets, another three. Yeah, you have to make greater effort than that defensively. You, you know what he can do from range. Well, to me, Greg, that's just inexcusable. You start to wonder how much they really want this basketball game. Now, here's Curry. He's covered closely. Rose. And finished off by Rose. I'll tell you, that vertical ability he has puts him in select company in NBA power forwards. May not have great size, but boy, he plays bigger than it. Sura 
Now the pass to Mills. That shot off the mark. And it's the Hornets taking it the other way. Curry with it. The dish now to Rose. It's Pierce on the wing. Curry kicks to Rice. Just five on the clock. Inside, and it's t with the jam. And in every since halftime, they played precision basketball offensively. i got to believe that's something the coach talked to them about at the halftime. They have valued each possession. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Rose finds Pierce. Shot from the top of the key. Back to Rose. Passes it to Rice. No good on the triple. The Cavaliers trail by 20. Here's Mills. And the layup falls. A nice move to create a gap there in the defense and get to the bucket. And it's Curry with the ball. Bringing it up for the Hornets. Kicks it to Rice. Pass to Divas. They double team defense. Mills with the steal. Shoots over Curry. Mills can't hit. Listen, he can make that shot right there, but I do know they have other options they can go to. Rose. To the left wing. Rice passes to Curry. Here's Divots. Makes it off the glass. Divots has got 12 points in just the second half. And guys, the offensive rebounding really has stood out here this half. All those second chance points are helping them maintain that lead. Here's Mills, and that one's on target from the wing. Mills has got four this quarter. Obviously, a time mix out, up defensively out. on that possession. And the Hornets call time here. expect he's done most of his damage in that low block I mean that was the game plan to get it to him in the paint and just let him go to work and boy has the big fella delivered he has just killed them down low he got an extra boost from the grief these fans were giving him here tonight they were riding him hard all night and he ate it up some guys just like being the villain I guess Chambers gets the curve and again, the Hornets missing. The Cavaliers trail by 18. Out to the right wing. The offensive rebound. Hill. And he banks in the lane. And he's now got the double-double. 10 points and 11 rebounds. And that's what the pump makes there for. Get your man off his feet and drive right around. Pass to Chambers. by Cleveland. Now Mills. From down in the low post. It goes. Brandon's got 26 points. Unselfishness can be infectious. Terrific teamwork. Curry passes to Roy. Back to Curry. Releases from 15. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Hill's got rebound number 12 now. Tenacity on the glass. The pass to Brandon. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. Here's Curry. Here's Royal. Covered by Mills. Five on the clock. Here's Rose. Over West. Charlotte, no good that 
timing. And here are the Cavaliers. Big run right now going for him, 11-2. Had a chance there to cut it to single digits, but it's off target. Curry passes to Chambers. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. Shooting one. Yeah, exceptional play there to take the bump and still get it to fall. The Cavaliers trail by 13. Out to the wing. Here's West. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. The first free throw is good. So he makes one of two as the second one misses. They can't really afford to leave points at the line right now. He would have loved to cash in on each of those free throws and trim the lead even more. That's it. He's seven for 12 now in the game. 143 left in the fourth quarter. Here's Brandon. Rebound by Rose. Well, defensively, if you allow him to get this close, you're playing with fire. He just happened to miss that one. Now here's Curry. He's tightly guarded. Pass to Roy. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Curry's got his fifth assist in this one. And tonight's battle is going to end with a very clear winner, leaving nothing to chance. Impressive win for Charlotte. Starting five must have been happy to get so much help from the reserves in this game. And they not only lightened the load, the subs did nothing less than guarantee a win. From about 19 feet, and Charlotte time out, time again out. with the bucket. Yes, Look, they, they've earned this victory tonight. Tough to dominate the way they did. And they just went out and executed. Give credit to the coaching staff. They have to be thrilled with their level of play. Timeout called Cleveland. They're down by 16. There's a minute left in the fourth quarter. And it's a completely new group on the floor for the Cavaliers. There's a minute left in the fourth quarter of this one. Cleveland moving it around. Pass to Rose. Just four to shoot. Fires it up. And there's another one for the Hornets. Finishing strong. This is how you want to close things out. No question, GA. They've gotten hot at exactly the right time. Clutch play on a team level. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Guarded by Kerr. from outside got the defender off his feet with the pump fake but couldn't knock it down and so it's the hornets taking care of business in this one a resounding victory for them and break in enemy territory no less that's exactly